So, um, so the president is on the ground. The president is at the vaccination site here. And you know how we do it. We do it live. Just to give you an idea of what's going on. We are president and ministers of government are on the ground. Please stop pass on to you. So you gotta drive through vaccination. Huh? Oh, so you gotta walk in vaccination and drive through. So you can drive through right here at the Anna Regina, just after the Anna Regina market. Go, go around from the other side. So you see you got uh, adolescents here getting the vaccine and the president is using this opportunity as a photo op um, with the kids and, and I can only imagine how they're going to light up the kids' life. So if you look here, just back here, um, you got kids getting the vaccine. Just give a closer look at the kids them run off. Right. You have kids with the parents, obviously they, they, they're encouraged by the parents to get the vaccine and you got this beautiful young lady who are you working up for the vaccine or 25,000? Which one you doing? Vaccine. vaccine, vaccine, oh well I just, i looking for the 25,000 but she's not a lady with the 25,000. <laughs> The president in plane, they're working with two notebooks. You see this man securing this notebook. He's got an old military man, got a notebook. And he's taking them notes of his shoes. All the issues, they're writing down. And they're taking this thing so serious that they got soldiers holding, holding the notebook. This is the importance that this government have for the complaints that you're going to give them and the notes they're making about it. So the president going back and saying, I can't keep up with him, man. I know what you're using. Are we getting all this energy from? So the president down the middle of the road, greeting everybody. And this is this is uh, one of the president's ways of showing the people that he is for the people and a down to earth president. I could only imagine how um, you know residents of of Region Two are feeling at this time knowing that their president is on the ground and up close and personal with them. For those of you who just came into the game, it's pretty good. Okay, President Ali is on the ground and he's meeting and greeting residents of um, Anna Regina and you got a lot of people come from different areas but ministers are going across um, region 2 and they will be dealing through concerns you got the minister 
of uh, finance right here talking to different people and hearing their concerns and their issues. So, So just to say, I mean, one of the, the, the ongoing problems that we've had is problems with NIS throughout the length and breadth of the country. And as you know, we've been doing a number of NIS outreaches in several regions. We're going to be doing a dedicated NIS outreach in Region 2 in another few weeks. But I have right now with me the management of the NIS, and we're already engaging with citizens on some of the frustrations and problems that they have with the NIS. But there will be in another couple of weeks a dedicated NIS outreach here, where I will come, I'll bring the entire management team, I'll set up a mobile NIS office, and we'll deal with everybody's complaints on, the, on NIS related issues. Thank you again, Minister. Very good. Thank you. You've heard from the, the finance minister issues. Um, the, the government is addressing the issues as it relates to NIS. In a few weeks, they will be back on the ground here. So look out for the government. Look out for your government. Again, whatever political affiliation, um, whatever political party you're affiliated with, it does not matter. Um, you meet your minister, you meet your president, and you tell him how you're affected and how you want the issues addressed. Well, we're going to go catch Minister in Hello. building somewhere. Come in, come in. Open up the doors there. Let's get in. Come, come. Let's talk to the minister, Minister Indar. How are you doing? Um, we live, and the people want to know what ministers are doing, when they're doing it, how they're doing it. And I know the PBB administration always give away something. So I try to figure out, I talk to everybody about it. I talk to the president. I said, I'm going to man, I'm going to give you 100,000. I'm going to give you 25,000. Just up. So what's going on, Minister Indar? Well, you know, we're here, and as you saw, the entire course from yes, end to end, from end to end, um, you know, we are spread out. Mm -hmm. We come to deal with people issues, right? Everybody got an irritant in their life. I know we have the transformative agenda, we have the rehabilitative agenda, but we want to make sure that the contact with people is there consistently and alive. So we are here. If you, if you check this schedule, it's from end to end of region two. Every village, a minister will be over the next week. Right, all of us are spread out. Um, today we're looking at all of the issues that are affecting people. We're going to be all over the, the coastline. We're going to be upper um, Pomeroon, lower Pomeroon, all the riverine community, the coastline and so. So we already started. In fact, since last night it started with a TV program dealing with NIS issues and some other housing issues. This morning we dealt with issues around uh, health, education, business and well, infrastructure and energy. We had a, a, a kickoff this morning. But we're going to the communities now, meet with people, hear the issue, deal with them as we can deal with them. Some of them you might have to come back to people in a, you know, in a quick response time, and then you have some of them might take a little longer to resolve. This is a big issue, but we're here to deal with that. Thanks, um, Minister. So you've heard from Minister Indar, the Minister within the Ministry of Infrastructure, and here I can take a break. I'm hungry, and I'm going to talk to one of the people buying lunch. Who buy lunch? Somebody got buy lunch. They got water. They got water. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't, uh -huh. What do you give?